the ray tracing for your audience? Oh, now check this out. You're gonna do it like this. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah, I'm hip hop gamer. You know what it is, but I got somebody I need to see. I got somebody I need to talk to. Yo, what's going on, Adam? How you doing, feels, folks? Right? Great to be here. Happy to talk to you about ray tracing. All right, yo, look. So, just to just to give y'all some understanding of what I just saw, <clears throat> um, ray tracing is the future of your entire soul as a game. <laughs> like, period. Ray tracing, that's what it is. I saw Star Wars, and um, I also saw this other demonstration. All I can tell you is NVIDIA, once again, is ahead of the pack, bro. Like, this joint is fire. So, Adam, like, explain to, to the people what ray tracing is, but also how it's going to help the industry move forward in terms of graphical fidelity. Sure. So, you guys have already seen ray tracing, whether you know it or not, but you've seen it in a movie. That's how Hollywood does all of its special effects, because ray tracing is the most realistic way to simulate light, and thus you get the best looking possible visual effects. The catch is, that was so computationally expensive that it would take hours to render a single frame. Movies, exactly. Movies had all the time in the world, they can render a scene overnight, because uh, your release date isn't until six months down the road. In games, you need instantly to have that visual quality there in a frame. You need those frames to be 30 plus frames per second if you want a good gaming experience, right? Absolutely. So, what we announce with NVIDIA RTX technology is that real-time ray tracing is finally possible. This was always considered the holy grail of graphics and now for the first time, it's going to be possible in games. This now, means the same, oh, go for it. No, yeah, I'm so sorry to cut you off because of hype right now. <laughs> so that Star Wars trailer that we saw, are you telling me that we will be able to play games that look like that? Exactly. It's getting to the point, uh, so you're referring to the, it's called the Epic Reflections demo. Yes. It shows like Captain Phasma with her metallic armor and you see reflections of lights that are off in the corner, reflections of other stormtroopers, the door in the elevator. And when we first showed this to people at NVIDIA on the creative mm -hmm. team, they thought we were showing them the movie. They what? thought, they're like, why are you sh like, why are you showing me this? I thought we were going to look at ray tracing stuff. We're like, no, no, no. This is ray tracing. This is the what the game could look like. So I'm sure you've all played games where you have that, that cut scene that looks like a movie, but then you go back to the game and it's it not, not the that. same. Trust me, trust me. We are yep. finally getting to the point where that same quality you get in that pre-baked cinematic is coming to the actual gameplay. Where it'll feel like you're playing the movie. Now, I want to challenge you now. Now, yeah, this is a challenging question, bro. So, as much as I love PC, I told you, like, I got the uh, GTX 1080 Ti and all this other stuff. Um, there's still some games, like, even on console. And, and this is where the technology and the talent, it matters. Because you can have all the power in the world, but if you got the proper talent to bring it out, then what's the purpose of having all the power? So, when you look at games like Naughty Dogs, um, Last of Us 2, and Uncharted 4, God of War, that just came out. These games run on PS4 Pro. Now, if that hardware comparison to what NVIDIA could do PC-wise, hardware-wise, spec-wise, it's like, nah, there's no comparison. But the results that we're seeing is out of this world. Like, sure. out of war alone looks crazy. Um, what would you say about, like, uh, uh, going forward in terms of the consoles? What would be the... Can consoles do what we're what we're seeing today with ray tracing on PC, or th will the PS5 or the next Xbox be able to do what you showed me today with the Star Wars demo? Sure. So this RTX technology, we're basically saying, so it's a combination of both software and hardware. It's not one oh, or the other. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So okay. Nvidia's been in the ray tracing <laughs> game for over a decade. Uh, but it was never real time until today. So all of the software algorithms uh, we've developed over the years, including those denoising techniques we showed you earlier, yeah. that's one of the things that helps ray tracing possible. The other is a certain level of hardware performance that's necessary. So we're saying RTX technology and thus real time ray tracing is really possible starting with our Volta architecture and forward. Yo, listen, hold on.
when y'all spoke about the Volta before, I was like, where is it coming? Can you, like, will we see Volta this year? At, at some point this year, can you at least confirm that the Volta chip will see it? Is there a conference coming like, that's going to demonstrate it? So the Volta architecture is already out there. Um, it's, but it's mostly in the, say, Tesla cards. This is meant for the data center. But as an end user, or if you're looking for it, uh, this is in the yeah, Titan V yeah, card. The new, yeah, the, like the new graphics chips that's coming out. Or oh, new. I mean, can't talk about unreleased products. But as far as getting a Volta yourself, there's the Titan V, which is uh, the currently available to developers. So the, so the Titan V will be able to pull off what we see, saw, the ray tracing? It supports the RTX technology. Oh, my. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, this is crazy. So I got a few more questions, we're gonna wrap it up. Um, in your opinion, uh, is Star Wars the most impressive thing that you've seen, or is there things that you've seen that we haven't had the privilege of seeing that's even more impressive than Star Wars demo? So at GDC, we showed, I think, at least six different ray tracing demos. The Ep Epic Reflections demo, the Star Wars one, is I think a great example of the finished product of how gorgeous something can look, especially with like the, that metallic armor and all those reflections. The other demos do a, a great job of kind of showing you the before and after to okay. really give you a sense of what ray tracing brings to the graphics quality. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. Oh. I, oh, you know what? That should be a slogan. Once you see it, yo, you see how crazy that is, son? Hold up. And, yo, no, 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 no. I'm dead ass serious. You just did it. You just did it, bro. Okay. It's like NVIDIA GeForce. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. Oh, my God. That is crazy. Yo, I'm so right right now. So that's crazy. All right, cool. So two more questions, and I'm going to let you go. All right. So now I noticed that... Um, one of the demos that you showed, uh, Remedy, uh, was uh, showing it off, stuff like that. Um, in terms of like game engines and stuff like that, um, will every like developer be able to take advantage of like the RTX, or does they like do they game have? Does it have to like run on PC? Does it have to be an SLI, or you know like what's some of the um, like standards or requirements needed for developers to take full use of what we're seeing with RTX? Sure. So at GDC, Microsoft announced this DirectX Ray Tracing API. And that is one of the things that is now a common platform for anyone developing a game to, to use to build their ray tracing uh, right. into their, into their uh, title. So <clears throat> that DXR API is what uses NVIDIA RTX technology. And as far as other uh, developers, like we've announced a few different partners who are already looking into this technology. Uh, we showed you the Epic and Remedy demos. We had others from EA at GDC. And so these, those demos, is something they only turned around in a few months after getting early access to this. Exactly. This hold is up, just- Hold up, sorry. Hold up, hold up, sorry. You mean to tell me, don't lie. Like, you mean to tell me seriously, only a few months and you was able to pull that shit off? They were able to. So this just gives you a taste of what's coming. Metro they've already Metro Exodus is cra- Who are you? Like, like what, what are y'all doing here, bro? Yo, I now, last question, and- uh, Like, nah, <laughs> yo, I love you for it. Like, like, this is crazy, B. So, now, my last question, cause like, I'm blown away already. Like, you don't gotta sell me on shit. Like, like, like I'm good. <laughs> but, for the last question, and um, I think, uh, I think this is a big shift in the entire industry, mm -hmm. period, in terms of this uh, technology and the respect that I think the game industry is going to get even more of from the movie industry and all these other companies and blah, blah, blah. So in terms of NVIDIA going forward, when you look at um, the ray tracing now, like where do you see in like the next two to three years once it's in people's homes and, and they got like the systems and the rigs and stuff like that, what's the recommendation? Like, like what would be like the system recommendation for the end user to be able to play games at that fidelity. Because current, like I said, currently right now, um, the GTX 1080 Ti is one of the, the best you know, graphics chips out there. So later on, I want to play that at my house. You know what I'm saying? What would be like the recommended like system settings or something to get the most out of what Volta is going to bring? So if the answer, I mean, yeah. It depends, right? So every game is going to integrate different levels of ray tracing, you know, depending on what's Hold appropriate. Hold on, you, you didn't say that before. You said you said different levels of ray tracing. Oh, sure. So as part of RTX, 
we have different uh, denoising libraries that will support shadows, reflections, and ambient occlusion. So those are the, the main things we're offering. You saw the ex examples of shadows, or sorry, reflections on and off yeah. in the Remedy demo. So it's up to each game developer to figure out what they want to use in their games, which scenes, to, how, to what extent, and so there's not going to be a one-size-fits-all necessarily. It's up to the, each game developer. Right. And as far as the platform, like we said, with RTX technology for real-time ray tracing, yeah. that really requires uh, Volta and beyond. Oh my god. I, I, I know you can't tell me this, but can I at least say that, at least in 2019, we'll be able to like buy a Volta chip and like we'll get you can you can buy a Volt and a Titan V today. I know, but like that's like the early early version of it, right? Like it's I'm talking about like like the next one beyond Titan V. <laughs> I'm trying, can't, I'm I'm trying, I'm can't sorry, comment I'm about unreleased. I'm trying, y'all. So y'all better respect me. I'm trying. So now the last thing I want to say, and this is like not about the uh, uh, ray tracing, but the Nvidia GeForce platform and stuff like that. Period. Like one thing that bothers me. This is like this is me getting at you right now. How come there is not a like better better system for us to like stream uh, with the GeForce? And what I mean by that is like like I know with OBS you can like set certain things up and do certain things, but with Nvidia, when I stream on Nvidia, like there's certain things I can't do in terms of um, like editing and, and making my stream look a certain way. And I, I mean it's such a good platform to stream on. But there's a lot of functions and features that's not there yet. Will we be getting like new features to the actual GeForce like experience program? So we can like even if you stream, I can't uh, like not stream, but even if you're recording, I can't see myself mm. in a camera. Like you know what I mean? Like they don't show that unless you're streaming, and then the camera pops up. It's just like certain little things that you can't do on a GeForce Experience platform. So that's all great that's feedback. Like I mean, we we're always trying to improve the GeForce Experience, be it with highlights, Ansel, or the the streaming yeah, aspect. Yeah, and I so. like the Ansel. Like I was telling you. The answer is dope. I just feel like there's so much more that can happen that's not sure. happening. Sure. There's it's it's always a question of, you know, what's what do our users want? So if, if you've already provided some of that feedback, I'm sure the GFE team will you know, it's it may be on something they're looking at but would like to prioritize features that the community wants. So if, yeah. if you've provided any of that feedback to them, we're happy to follow up with them. That's what I'm talking about. So look, man, I'm telling you right now, show love and respect to the G Force gamer. You know what I'm saying? NVIDIA. I thank you so much. Let them know, let everybody know, uh, why they should be playing with NVIDIA products. It's the way it's meant to be played. That's how you end a mother interview. That's it, baby. We out of here. Peace. Yo. <laughs> yo. Yo. This is... Yo. Oh, my God. Amazing. Yo, Pete. It's amazing. You want to go play Shadow of the Tomb right now? Yes, yes. Let's